I would like to introduce you to Sister Kathleen Walsh. She is a sister at the local church, St. Francis of Assisi. She is 91. She was an elementary teacher in Oregon and Washington for about 10 years. She did secretarial work in ministry offices. She spent about 13 years at St. Mary's, her former school, as a registrar. And she was a chaplain at St. Vincent Hospital. So, um, the first question, what does faith in a higher power mean to you? Faith to me is a, a gift of believing in God. And that was a gift that my parents gave to me. And how I think of that God, what kind of a God I believe in, is part of my faith journey. And in my early years, I think that uh, I had this image of God as this great man, judge. <laughs> and a lot of my early life was based on fear. There was a lot of uh, emphasis on sin and punishment. And fortunately, I've lived long enough to have a very different opinion and a different view of God. And I think that's the, the whole journey of faith that uh, evolves during our lives. And there, there was one time when I really received a special gift. I remember I was in the chapel at Merrillhurst and uh, I was reading a book and whatever it was that I was reading made me realize that God is love, and God loves me. And that just sort of changed the whole trajectory, you know, of my faith belief. And, and I think that is uh, something that has been very important to me, to see God as love. And uh, God as a, a fear, and, and as a woman, you know, to have feminine images of God rather than just the masculine because we, we belong to a patriarchal church and men dominate. And so it, I think uh, during the women's movement, there's been a great effort, you know, to have feminine images of God. And we now have uh, feminist theologians who are interpreting scripture in a different way. And uh, that, that's been a real um, plus in, in my life to, uh, to see the changes, you know, and to think of uh, creation. When I look at this beautiful flower, you know, to, to realize that God is everywhere. And when I look out at night at the stars to realize, you know, God created this wonderful universe and God is greater than all of that. And the mystery of Christmas is that this God who is incomprehensible, holy, mystery, has become a very vulnerable, weak child and has come into our universe and brought a new love and a new energy that we need to be in touch with. And God lives within us and within all of those around us. And if we all believed that, we wouldn't have the, the wars and the terror, terrorism that's going on right now. So I'm glad, glad that I have lived long enough to see my image of God change from a God of fear to a God of love. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, so why do you think it's important for people to have a religion or faith life? I think life is always going to have terrible things happen to us. Physically, pain, suffering, devastation of floods and earthquakes, and despite all of the bad things that can happen in our lifetime, 
that belief that God is still there and knows what's going on and still loves us through all of that and will help us through that, that's my anchor, my rock. Um, so what was the most significant event of your faith life and why? I think I mentioned that earlier. It was when I, uh, all of a sudden in that book, realized that God loves me as I am, just as I am imperfect God loves me as I am and will always love me so what do you wish someone would have told you about your life when you were my age well I wish they would have told me that uh, no matter what happens to you God loves you um, what words of wisdom would you like to share with me today well, Tally, I think I'd like you to realize that in our busy digital world with all of the devices we have that we have to take some time in our day to meditate, to be, to get to the center of our being and find God within. And the secular world is taking that up. They have classes in meditation, not from a spiritual viewpoint, but just to maintain their sanity. <laughs> <laughs> so I would encourage a time of prayer in your, in your day. That's really nice. 